The next Spotlight Terror event is now live, featuring Armor Rouge and Serilege in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details in today's video. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. So hopping over to Cerebi, we can take a look at all of the details for this event. In Pokemon Scarlet, you are going to be getting four and five star Armor Rouge in your game. They're going to have completely random terror types and they will have their base ability, which would be that flash fire. And they will have the chance to have their hidden ability as well, which is weak armor. And that goes for the same Armor Rouge and Serilege. So Armor Rouge and the four star raid is going to have the moveset of Lava Plume, Side Shock, Energy Ball and Taunt. So not too far away from anything that we were looking at when we were running up to this event with the raids that already exist in game. And then the five star raids are going to be a little bit higher level, level 75 five armor rouge in pokemon scarlet uh, again random terror type and the move set of armor cannon expanding force this time so a bit of a stronger psychic type attack and you have to watch if psychic terrain is summoned to the field although they don't have a way to summon it themselves energy ball and taunt and then the additional move calm mind so bringing something with taunt will not hurt in these battles to stop that setup from the armor rouge and the item drops are pretty good, uh, but in line with the previous Spotlight Terror Raids that we've had, the four and five star, you're gonna get a bunch of candies, uh, other high cost items, rare candies, as well as the chance to get ability patches and ball caps. So not too bad at all. Then you've got Serilege, which will be the version exclusive for Pokemon Scarlet. Again, four and five star raids. Again, they're gonna have the ability and hidden ability. Uh, the move set for Serilege, the four star raid, which will be level 45, Flame Charge, Shadow Sneak, Night Slash, and Will-O-Wisp. And then the five star gonna be level 75, with Bitter Blade, Shadow Claw, Night Slash, Will-O-Wisp, and then the additional move of Sword Stance. Again, a good idea to have something with Taunt, or maybe come in with something like Charm to really nullify those attack boosts when it does try and set up. Again, the item drops are gonna be the same across the board for Serilege as Armor Rouge, and the event itself will be running from today as of recording this video, February the 3rd, until February the 5th, which will be this Sunday. So we've got a bit of time to take advantage of this event and once you've updated your game with the event just remember it will stay in your game until the next time you go online even if you run past the 5th of february so that are all the details let's hop into game and show you how you can access it in your copy of pokemon scholar or violet so to access the event in game, you just need to come down as always to your Poker Portal. Remember, you do need to have a Nintendo Online subscription to use this service. And then you want to come down to Mystery Gifts and then check Pocket Portal News. This will connect you to the internet and update all of your terror raids in your Paldea region. And once it's done, you'll get this message just notifying you that the updates have been done just after midnight and you can disconnect from this point. As long as you don't go back online after this point, even though the event is ending this Sunday, uh, you will keep this event in your game till the next time you go online. I just like to remind people that they can keep these events for longer than the events are actually running. So once you have updated your dens like that in the Poker Portal, you can come onto your map. You want to be just identifying the different raid dens that are highlighted as the Spotlight Terror Raid dens. They will have this white glowing ore around them. So you can see the one that we've got right here, which is a fire type one. There'll be other ones dotted around the region as well. You'll be able to kind of see them quite easily compared to normal raid dens. You've got one over here, electric type, another electric type, another fire type and a bug type. So lots of variety here for these terror dens. Since this one's so close to us, we will head straight over to this one. And if you didn't catch our video earlier in the week where we previewed a few good options going in against Armourus and Serilege this week for these Spotlight Terror Raids, then you can check it out right now. I'll link it up in the right hand corner for you so you can watch that and get some ideas if you are struggling for Pokemon to take into these raids. One of the Pokemon that we did talk about was Houndoom and that's what we're going to go in with against this fire terror type armor rouge so i'm excited to see how houndoom does in this raid i feel like it will do pretty well obviously these are just five star terror raids uh, for the most part so they're not going to be that difficult compared to when we're looking at something like these seven star terror raids that we're normally used to covering on the channel 
We utilize the taunt because Amaruj does get access to things like Carmine that we don't really want to get in too out of control. And then we can go for these nasty plots and start wreaking havoc. And that flash fire on the Houndoom is so useful against these Pokemon. That was one of the main reasons why I chose it. And obviously it's dark typing as well, gives it immunity to psychic and uh, resistance to ghost as well if you're going up against Serilege. So there's a third nasty plot. Can we get the one shot from this ranger? Is it going to throw the shield up before we can get our attack off? Let's see. Okay, we're going to get a, a dark pulse off. Here we go. Let's see. Don't think it'll be enough. Ooh, very close. But Houndoom, going to be a great Pokemon to bring against both the Armourous and the Serilege. That was one of the reasons why I did kind of outline it, because it was just such a good option against both these Pokemon. It's not going to take any damage from the fire type attacks that you're going to see from them. And like I say, resist uh, other stab attacks. And it doesn't really matter what terror type they are. With the coverage between Dark Pulse and Hyper Voice, you kind of got coverage for every single terror type that the Armourous or Serilege could be. And there we go. The Armor Rouge is done. He's easy as that. So that's a nice easy one for us. Uh, we will catch it because it is an event one. And let's just go with a Pokeball for this one. Kind of matches it, I guess. The red on the red. And there's our item drop. So you can see we're going to get the, the kind of standard stuff for five star raids. Large candy, XL candy. Then you're going to get the fire terror shots, which you would get respective of any terror type that you beat. Uh, ability capsules as well, which are nice, and the nuggets, and then big pills. So decent drops, actually, for a spotlight terror raid. Lots of high-cost items that you'll be able to kind of farm these items for and sell for a high cost. So a good way to farm some money pretty quickly in the games. So just as a reminder as well, if you run through all of the Spotlight Terror Raids in the Paldea region and you want to do some more because you've got none left, then you can come to your home menu and you can go down to system settings and then into system, into date and time. Just make sure that the synchronized clock is off via the internet, click into your date and time and just click through in these options, hit OK. Don't need to change anything, then come back into your game and all your dens will respawn and you'll be able to kind of locate new spotlight terror raid dens for you to farm and get more of these exclusive pokemon to your game also if you want to obtain the other version exclusive that isn't in your copy of the game then you can come to your pocket portal and you can go online and hope to find someone else that has the opposite version of yourself hosting these spotlight terror raids for you to obtain the pokemon that you can't get in your game to do this, when you're in your Poker Portal, just hit your left shoulder button. It will connect you to the internet. And then you want to head into Terror Raid Battles. And there we go. We've got a rock type Serilege raid here. So what we'll do, we'll go in with our Houndoom. We know it's not going to have Terror Blast, so we don't need to worry about any rock type Terror attacks. So we can just lock in with our Houndoom. So here we go. And I still think that Houndoom, although it was built predominantly for a solo build, uh, I think it will work online just fine as well against all types of the Armor Rouge and Serilege. Uh, to support po partner in Pokemon, you know, you've got the taunt there to shut any setup down. Um, and then you've got the nasty plots as well, which is just going to help boost your damage. So you're not really supporting your partnering Pokemon or fellow players outside of the taunt. But by the amount of damage that you do, you're going to do a good job anyway. And you can see how useful that flash fire is. So if you've got a party of flash fire users, then really limits what the Armor Rouge and Serilege can do. But um, you can see we aren't really going to need to do too much in this battle to be honest we've got old iron hands there and greninja doing a great job although the uh, the guard of war has kind of went down pretty quickly that should be it here we go we've got the serilege and the armor rouge so if you want the other version exclusive just hop online i'm sure there'll be a bunch of players that will be hosting these raids uh, throughout the weekend obviously the event is running over the entire weekend so you've got plenty of time to take part in it and grab the other version exclusive especially if you are looking to complete your pokedex and this might be one pokemon that you are struggling to get go for this one in the premier ball kind of tempted to go for the master ball but it's such a waste of the master ball but it does match the colors doesn't it so if you're into that then that would be the perfect ball for this serilege but not quite worth it, I don't think. There we go. And a nice bunch of items. No ability patches in this one, but we do get a bunch of candies, which are always useful. 
So like I say, if you want to check out the builds that we made coming into this event like the Hound do, make sure you check out this video up here. I'll link it up in the right hand corner for you now. And at the end of the video, if you'd like to check it out and get the specifics with EV spreads, the IVs, the nature, all the things and the moveset so you can build your own Hound Doom to have an easy run through these events over the weekend. Otherwise, just have fun. Let me know down in the comment section below what you're running through these Pokemon with and if you're taking part in this terror raid event over the next few days. So that about wraps it up. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please drop a like and do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more of these updates when they do drop in game of course we've got the greninja event happening again a week today so that'll be the second time i'll be running through and that'll be the next event for the terror raid events in pokemon scarlet and violet and we should be doing updates on that in the next week as well as covering that event when it does go live once again thank you for tuning in have a great rest of your day or evening whatever time of day it is and i'll see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye